Kimiko's Panda Crate line got a serious overhaul in 2023 with elevated toys, deeper parent education, and an expanded product line. And the Kiwico Panda Crate Plus line is a fantastic addition. In this review, we'll look at the updated pricing, changes in quality, how it compares to old crates, and more to help you decide if it's the right fit for your family and child. If you guys are new here, my name is Rachel from The Confused Mom. Welcome to my channel. I share baby and toddler product reviews, activities, as well as Montessori at home tips. And while this video is sponsored by Kiwico, we have been subscribers since 2020, and I have have done reviews of past panda crates as well as their koala crate line. I'll leave a link to those full playlists in the description box below. Let's look at the two options you now have when it comes to Kiwico's panda crate. The first one is what you had before where you get three to six toys in the box and an in-depth parent guide. But now you also have the option to sign up for their Kiwico panda crate plus line where you get everything from the first option as well as one to two grow with me toys. So these are going to be toys that are going to last a lot longer. My four-year-old has been playing with a ton of these even though this this is intended for my two-year-old and each of those additional toys is going to come with their own play guide as well. In terms of which is better, without a shadow of a doubt in my mind, I have to say the plus line is 1000% the option to go with. While their baseline has made some significant improvements, which we'll talk about later in this video, the plus toys have the most longevity to them. If you were to go and purchase a lot of the plus toys from their storefront individually, you'd essentially be paying for the crate in full or getting extremely close to it. For instance, one of the crates I received had the Sensory Play light box, which retails in their storefront for about $80. Most you'd pay for a plus crate is $80. And that's if you were to just subscribe to one crate, which I never recommend. Whenever we've done our subscription in the past, I've always done a minimum of three months, which does bring the Panda Crate Plus line cost down to $76 per crate, which would come in less than purchasing that in their storefront. There's also been a handful of changes to the Panda Crate line beyond the addition of the plus item. First is going to be the item quality. I would say this is the most significant change from the old crates to the new one. I think in the past I said the quality of Kiwico's wood just wasn't there compared to competitors. It felt more raw and unfinished and plywoody, and now it feels really durable and just nice in your hands. Next thing they did was include thoughtful storage. One of my biggest pet peeves with subscription boxes is when they give you items with a ton of stuff and nowhere to easily store them, and Kiwico has resolved that. They've included boxes and bags wherever it makes sense and I am forever grateful. The next change is their parent education. So while the old panda crates did include a little flyer with information for the parents and little like paper flash cards explaining each of the items, the new panda crates have a little booklet with more information and details. Personally, I prefer this change as the little cards in their old crates were hard to keep track of. Now the new guidebook feels like a true resource I can refer back to on a rainy day. Another change is the book. Originally, you pretty much always got a book featuring the mascot of this line, Poppy the Panda with the option to add on a second book. It seems like the new panda crates no longer include a book by default, but instead it's only an add-on option or you have to hope to get one in the upgraded plus item. And they also changed the names of the crates. In the past, they used a blank with me formula to their names and now it's a let's blank. I bring this up because KiwiCo still does not allow you to preview all of the panda crates before subscribing. You are trying to search and get a rough idea of what to expect you might be better off looking for that old name if you cannot find any of the new names. While the items are not going to be exactly the same, there is still some slight overlap in the old crates to the new ones with a significant improvement in quality. For instance, Solve With Me included a puzzle, bean bags, lacing toys, squishy shapes, and a book. And the updated version includes all of those items still and no book. And while the items stayed roughly the same in that crate, they did get some upgrades. All of that said, previously the Panda Crate was only for zero to two year old and then you'd switch to the koala crate which was for two to four year old. However now the panda crate spans from zero to 36 months and then the koala crate is just for three to four year old. So the 24 to 36 month old panda crates didn't exist before but some of them are upgrades to the hits from the original koala crate line. So let's take a look at some of those so you can see what I mean. Let's sort for 25 to 30 months. Helps with matching colors and building early math sense and it includes fishing game from the koala crate line ocean games which was a fan favorite, but it's also upgraded. They added some texture to the shape, upgraded the mat, and included a carrying bag. It also includes a really fun popper toy. The bubbles have the numbers 1 through 50 on them. My son loves fidget toys, and this was the first item he grabbed out of the box, and it was a total hit. He engaged with it for 15 to 20 minutes. Next is a puzzle. My son figured this out in like four minutes, which is why I can't recommend the plus line enough, because with the upgraded plus line, we got the sensory play light box, and those translucent blocks from that puzzle 
will actually work with the light box, which does come with its own set of pieces to use on it. And both my two-year-old and four-year-old have played with this for hours since we got it. Literally the morning when my four-year-old woke up, she spent 45 minutes playing with this light box and only stopped because her baby brother was destroying her work. That's definitely gonna last a long time in our house. Next is the Let's Create for 31 to 36 month old. Let's Create helps toddlers build dexterity through play to prepare them for writing and features an improved upon water mat from their old Koala Crate neighborhood fun, which included a colorless mat, a paintbrush, and a water tray. But now the new mat features a blank side and a colored playscape with a refillable water pen and it folds into a carrying bag for on the go with a zippered pocket to hold the accessories. It also includes a box of scribble carry-ons with different pre-writing grip and a plastic carrying box that fits the included two containers of play-doh a rolling pin tweezer scissor and two little animal heads with open mouths the idea here is that the heads fit onto the play-doh containers and kids can roll out the play-doh cut it and use the tweezers to feed the hungry bear the plus toy is the stacking wood tree set which comes with a wooden squirrel that when you pull it back it actually zooms forward like a toy car the let's go panda crate for 31 to 36 month old is similar to the camping koala crate as both featured a backpack and snack. It aims to help your toddler practice independence and strengthen and social and emotional skills. This Panda Crates backpack has a ton of really great features. It's a real legitimate functioning toddler backpack that you could send your kid to preschool with. Plus there's a little comfort lovey. And the snacks are really nice too. The plus line item we received with this one was the doctor's kit, which was originally a Koala Crate too, but with some significant improvement. The original featured a flimsy felt bag that's been replaced with this really nice zippered canvas carrying bag. The original had a thermometer that was just a piece of wood and now it includes one with a button. And formerly the doctor's checklist had these pull tabs that you move the selections with, which my two-year-old ripped out and we don't even have anymore. And the new one is more instructional. It includes plastic sliders that are a lot harder for toddlers to destroy. Beyond that, it includes a bunch of new items like a medicine bottle, an arm pressure cuff, an injector, an ice pack. And the only things they really cut from the original Koala Crate were the book and the felt stickers to decorate the old carrying bag. Panda crates still ship every other month and while you can't see exactly which crate you're getting when subscribing, you get like a notification when it's being mailed out which one you're gonna get. There are a few things I can share with you to hopefully help you make an educated decision. So if you're subscribing from birth, you're definitely gonna get the preview Panda Crate for Let's Bond. From there, it really depends on how long you do your subscription and when you enroll. So if there's a Panda Crate you really want, like the Let's Explore looks really fun for seven to 12 month old, I'd start a six month subscription at seven months old because in that six month period, you're gonna be getting three Panda Crates, meaning one of them will most likely be Let's Explore. That's not a guarantee, but it definitely puts the odds a lot more in your favor if you time your child's age with the age range of the crate you want. For instance, if you were to subscribe when your child is nine months old, you might miss both the preview from the seven to 12 month range, as well as the previewed crate from the 13 to 18 month range, because it could have gone out before your subscription started, or you might end your subscription before that next one gets sent out. Basically time your child's age at the start of the preview if you have your heart set on something. With the addition of the plus line, they also updated some of their pricing. It used to be that the panda crate was roughly $40 to crate and that's more or less staying the same depending on how many months you pre-subscribe for but with the additional items in the plus line you're now looking at spending anywhere from as little as $68 to as much as $80 per crate and just like in the past you still have the option to add on a book for $10.95 to each crate and I have a promo code for you guys you can get 50% off your first month as a new subscriber with code TCM and I will leave details to their Black Friday sale in the comments below now for the big question are the KiwiCo Panda crates worth it overall I'd say yes they made some significant improvements and I really think the plus line makes most sense. The changes seem to be in relation to customer feedback and they are not cutting any corners. While I haven't done an in-depth financial comparison of all of the items if you were to try to recreate these crates yet like I typically do in my reviews. Right off the bat though I can say their pricing estimates seem fairly accurate. In some areas they oversell a little so like the pretend doctor's kit if you were to try to find that item on its own you could probably get it for around $10 
last. But on the other hand, they grossly undersell themselves on certain items. Like the Sensory Play light box retails for $80 in their storefront. But if you were to go buy a random other light box, and we're talking comparable dimensions and things here, you're looking at spending between $90 to $150 on it. So like almost double the price of KiwiCo's. And you're not going to get all of those translucent and plastic block pieces that you get with KiwiCo's. Giving all the changes they made and my self-proclaimed expert toy pricing knowledge, I'm going to safely assume that to attempt self-curating these, you would either be coming in at break even with KiwiCo's at a reduced cost quality or it's going to cost you more than just going with KiwiCo subscriptions. It seems like they really took customer feedback to make a significantly more competitive toy subscription and product line for newborns to three-year-olds and it turned out great. Be sure to go back check out my past KiwiCo reviews, check out my gift guides coming up. If you have any questions drop them in the comments below and as always my name is Rachel, have a good one.